Hello everyone, welcome to Wasting Academy's YouTube channel. So in this video, we'll be talking about the new opportunity which has been released by Defense Research and Development Organization, which is one of the most premier organizations uh, in which we can apply through GATE examination, through our GATE score and our, your bachelor's degree. Uh, basic qualification is there. Now, we see that in various laboratories of uh, Defense Research and Development Organization or Council for Scientific and Industrial Research regularly they release uh, the requirements of junior research fellowships and senior research fellowships. So we have to stay in touch in regard of uh, the recruitment which is being going on for various positions. Now especially JRF, they are recruited heavily. Um, you know, last, last uh, date or the new notification which has been released corresponding to this, it is 20th of March 2025. Right. This is a walk-in interview for Junior Research Fellowship for Aeronautical Department uh, and uh, the laboratory is in Bangalore. We can see the advertisement. This is our detailed advertisement, three-page advertisement, very small. Um, so it has been released by Aeronautical Development Establishment of Defense Research and Development Organization. Walk-in interview will be there, but shortlisting will be based upon your GATE score. Now streams uh, which are applicable over here is aeronautical engineering, mechanical, computer science, electrical and electronics engineering. First division will be considered only in your bachelor's degree. If you have first division in your bachelor's degree, then only you will be applicable over here and a valid gate score card if you have. Now apart from that, if you have B and M tech both uh, or B tech or M tech both first division, then you don't need a gate score. So they have mentioned or that means if you have BTEC or GATE scorecard, then you can apply or if you are BTEC and MTEC, then you can apply. Number of vacancies, as you can see, there are total six vacancies, right? Two are in aeronautical engineering, one is in mechanical, computer science, it is two and one is in electrical electronics. Uh, date of screening test will be 19th of March uh, and students can apply. Um, now, sometimes number of students who are shortlisted or who have applied are also high. They can extend it for one more day also. You have to travel to Bangalore for this particular um, admission. And keep it in mind that they have clearly mentioned in this point that you need to make your own stay arrangements if the interview extend for one more day. Uh, valid gate score is essential. Um, B, B Tech. Um, if you have only, if you are only B Tech, then valid gate scorecard is very, very essential. Now, interested candidates possess the above, possessing the above qualification should be from a recognized university, obviously. Um, then only you are applicable to apply. Uh, duly filled application form along with supporting documents need to be mailed on anjananor. Anjanor. Uh, anjan or dot ade at gov dot in right so this is the official website uh, this is the official email on which you need to fill the application form and you have to mail the supporting documents on this particular website and what are the supporting documents these are the supporting documents um, duly filled sign application form right uh, to be filled in capital letters, 10th mark sheet, 12th mark sheet, your B, B Tech final certificate, consolidated mark sheet, MEM Tech certificate and mark sheet if applicable, um, valid gate scorecard, Aadhaar card and any government or photo ID, caste certificate if there is a caste certificate, NOC from the present employer. So these are the documents, list of documents which you need to provide to them. Right. Um, also, the venue of interview, they have mentioned that it would be ADE, ADE DRDO, Raman Gate, uh, Suranjan Das Road, New Thiposandra Post, Bangalore. Right. And uh, you have to take your original government issued card, either Aadhaar card, passport, driving license, etc. Uh, over here, candidates will be permitted through Raman Gate only. Right, so keep this in mind. Please follow this process uh, as mentioned. Age limit maximum 28 years for GRF on the closing date of the application. So 28 years is the 
uh, maximum date and it is relaxable for SCST and OBC as per government rules, obviously. Right. Research fellowship, 37,000 rupees per month is given, GRF, as we all know. Uh, the tenure of GRF is initially for a period of two years and can be extendable as per rules. Um, right. And candidates are to report for the interview on 19th of March with original application. Also, they should possess all the certificates and documents which you have mailed and everything, which should be self-attested, right, if you have taken the copies and everything, right. They have mentioned it. Um, after this, there are some other instructions also, as you can see, um, not much required, but so this much is more than sufficient and this is your application form which you need to fill in and uh, you have to mail it on the required ID. Right? and all the other documents. So they have attached the required application form as well. So it's a great opportunity. Uh, yes, the number of vacancies are less, but you never know, you need only one vacancy. So please do apply, you got nothing to lose. If you have a valid gate score card and you still want to use your gate score card, it is one of the best opportunities if you are inclined towards research opportunities in India. So thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to our channel and I hope to see you soon.